In today's episode, you will see what it looks like. Because she is crying because she got hit with a hamburger. When cops have to rescue citizens. Aggravated battery on her. Or driving with that man on the hood of your car. He jumped on the hood of the car. From enraged old people. Did you start, fly did you start a screwdriver at her tonight? Yes, I did. I'm 80 years old, you idiots. <laughs> So she, so kicked, so you, she kicked you in the ass. Yeah, kicked me in the ass. What do you got so far, Danny? It's cussing? Yeah, it's cussing. Okay, she's a fing. No, is but that when better? I up, you said this Mar something like that. Roll your window up. Stop. This is mine. Stop. You get up, I'm going to see what happened with them real quick. So, what, what all started? Uh, she was walking around the building, like knocking on the windows, which our lobby's closed. Okay. And so when we didn't go and open the doors for her because the lobby's closed, she walked around into the drive thru and she was leaning over some other person's car. And so I was opening the window to tell her, like, hey, you can't be walking through the drive thru, it's a safety hazard. And then she started talking about how her order was on. I was like, okay, I apologize, you know. Uh, if you go through the drive thru we can fix it for you, but you can't be standing in the drive thru and that's when she threw her sandwich out of her face. Okay. It hit you in the face? Yes, oh, yeah, it hit you square that's in the face. Okay. And there was customers behind her who saw it. I don't know if they're still here because there's... I was right behind her. Was, okay. You, was, saw, you saw her chuck I her saw it. her... Yeah. It's totally disrespectful. Not everybody's perfect. Right, I got you. Right. And, and stuff, but after she did that, she started tearing the stuff off the windows and stuff. Okay. Well, what all did she tear off the window? It's laying right it's, there. There are little cool. advertisements. They're still laying on the sidewalk. Are you wanting to proceed with any charges possible, or what? What are you guys wanting to see? That's that's a you question because uh, she yeah, assaulted because you. Yeah, because that's freaking ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I understand you're mad that your order's wrong, but everyone has to wait in the line. Like, you, okay. I can't just prioritize people if they're walking through the drive-through and screaming. Okay. No, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, so did, I was wanting to see if she damaged. I know she she ripped this stuff off. She hit that girl square in the nose with a sandwich. So, yeah. So, I, he was right behind and saw it happen. And then we talked to him about trespassing. Well, <laughs> perfect. That's why I was going to do criminal damage as well, I but so. I didn't know if it was. Well, yeah. advertising. So she said she came around. Was mad about her sandwich, but yeah. the inside was closed. Let's clarify what's going on here. The grandmother you're watching hit an employee in the head with a hamburger after she was dissatisfied with the service provided. In most jurisdictions, intentionally striking someone, regardless of whether it's with a hand or an object, or in this case a hamburger, can be considered assault. Tearing down advertisements and potentially causing damage to the restaurant's property could result in a charge of vandalism or criminal damage to property. That was just the beginning. Now we will see how she behaved during the intervention. Do you have your ID? All day, or do you, you have your ID? Right anything? now you're detained. You're not going anywhere. Let me see your ID, please. I'm not talking to you guys. All right. Okay, stop. you're under Turn arrest. Around. Fine. Put your hand behind your back. Fine. You want to arrest You come me? out of that car. Car, you go too. Get you back in there. You're going to go to jail. Get back in there. Oh, you're going to take me to jail. You step out of that car. I'm taking you to jail. Marlon, don't. Get back in the car. No. Now. Get back in the car. Let him take me to jail. Female 21. Get in that car now. Let me take me to jail. I'll talk to you in a second. All you, all you want, but I'm not you clock him, nonsense. you'll get you'll get charges what? pressed against you. I'm sorry. If you clock him, you'll Come get on, charges pressed against you. Right back here to the cruiser. Bullshit over chicken nuggets. I will find out who that is. Have a who, seat. Who is? That little that is, is pressing charges against me because she out? is crying because she got hit with a hamburger. That's assault. Yeah. How old are you? Oh, you should know yeah. better than the throw sandwiches in I'm people's faces. I'm not telling spaces. you. Okay. Hop in the car. I'm not telling you my name. I'm not telling okay, you. Okay, that's, that's just another charge. If you don't want to identify care. yourself, you can sit in jail until we die identify you. Last chance. How am I supposed to get in La here? Last chance. What's your social? Last chance. What's your social, ma'am? Are you getting an additional charge? Go ahead. Charge me all you want. Okay. 12, 14, signal 7. Get out of that car. Stop. Get out of the car. You're going to come in so close, you dumb Put fuck. your arm back behind Put your arm behind your back. You get a hold of my daughter. She'll come and get the kid. 
I know you guys know her. Sit up for me on your butt, please. <laughs> Here. I can't. What's your, your badge? I'm 73 just sit, just years right, old. Sit right there for a second. You guys picked on a 73 year old man. This guy's got put one foot out of the car. Let me have this spoon, oh, please. You are not leaving here until the your daughter picks up her kid. I already spoke with your daughter. She's on her way from the man. As you saw, the situation got out of control and both the grandmother and her husband ended up in handcuffs after an argument with the police. Children are still in the minivan, so the officers called their parents to come and pick them up, explaining what just happened and why it happened. Considering that this whole situation was stressful for the children, the officers decided to ease this bad experience for them. Sure you guys had to witness everything here today, okay? That's not, none of this is your, don't even think anything is, you guys didn't do anything wrong, you just happened to witness it. My good buddy Deputy Boyd here. They might be a little hot, so be careful. He's got you guys nuggets some for you. nuggets. And your mom's on her way, okay? Okay, it's okay. So, it's okay. It's okay. we got called. She was not very nice. She's not cooperating in anything. So she's under arrest. She's going to jail. Dad was jumped out of the car for a minute we got him back in then he wasn't cooperating anything like that so he's already the other officers already got him so he's he's going. she she hasn't she doesn't cooperate at all she won't tell me her name or anything so she's just unfortunately she that's she's already she's already got another charge so we're beyond that so if she ids herself at the jail that's fine but if she doesn't she'll sit in there until they run her fingerprints to to talk to her. it's dana so. craig okay is that all you need What's your social? Tell me your, ma'am. Tell me your social, please. This is okay. such bull. What's, all you had to do what's your phone number? Get what's your phone number, Miss Greg? More money to get you out. So chill out. What's your phone number, Miss Greg? And tell me why you need that. It's for the paperwork that I have to give you here after a while. You don't fill out the paperwork. I can't get you out. You, you couldn't get it. I didn't, no. I didn't. I didn't You're go through. You're gonna catch your, more charges. Stop. I didn't go through your phone. You've had, already got two. I had your grandson call his mother. That's the only thing I touched your phone for. So, and then just verify your address, please. Um, Stop, because you're gonna catch yeah. more charges. So, and it's gonna cost me more money. I don't even have money for this. Care. You don't care. Shut up. Okay. They can just leave okay. me in jail. <sighs> Miss Dina has been charged with assault criminal damaging and obstructing official business. Her husband has been charged with resisting arrest and obstructing official business. If the previous case shocked you, just wait until you hear this one. Cheryl, a 76-year-old woman, made an improper turn and hit a vehicle next to her. Instead of stopping, she continued driving. The driver of the damaged vehicle caught up with her and blocked her path telling her she needed to stop because she had caused a traffic accident. However, Cheryl accelerated and continued driving, causing the man in front of her to jump onto the hood to avoid being hit. She then drove for two miles with the man on the hood traveling at a speed of 50 miles per hour. So she's in the second lane over. I guess she changed her mind what she was doing. Came over and hit our car. Yep. And then she stopped there and took off and my husband told her don't leave and she did. She says, I know my car. I said, you got an accident. You, you got damage right here. Yeah. I know my car. Yeah. And he, I didn't know he was on the hood. So your but, husband just like jumped on the hood to get her to stop or something? Yeah, or? and she just kept driving away. Jeez. Have production last location at EM4 Gainesville, Perrin Pritchard. Okay, Perrin Pritchard, Yes. Are you, are you are you injured? No, I'm all right. Were you on the hood of the car? Yeah, the okay. He did that. He... All right, relax. We're gonna sort it all out. I hope so. Uh, why don't you come out of the roadway? I want to talk to you. Come on over here. I'm sorry. Come over here and talk to me. Please. My partner's coming. He'll talk to you in a second. Let me get her calm down. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Wait, wait, don't. I just got out of there. Okay. What happened? I just got out of. Oh, you can't talk to him. You won't let me talk. I'm listening to you. He hit me lightly. And then he said, you better pull over. He got out of his car. He hit and you he with, him with his car? He hit me. Look at my car. Was, like, he, hold on. was he walking or he's in his own car? He's in his own car. And then he went like this. He says, now I'm going to tell them. No, he, he's, he, he wouldn't get off the hood of my car. Now, let me, let me finish. I'm sitting with no gas in the car. It says it. 
So I'm trying to go to that gas station that they time. They were there. So let's, let's start from the beginning. How his car hits yours and where you were at. Let's start from there. He said that I tried to make an illegal left turn. I from have what no location? On, uh, I got a red ant. Come hold sit. It, hold it, hold it, hold it. They're all oh, over I you. Got red ants. Come here, come sit. Come here. Just don't drive away on me. Let's sit right here. Just don't drive away on me, okay? If you didn't catch it, the officer placed the lady in the car because she stepped into an anthill. So what exactly is happening here? The suspect, Cheryl, claims that the damaged party hit her car, not the other way around, and that he then followed her and jumped onto her car. However, numerous witnesses, as well as the victim's wife, assert the opposite, that Cheryl is indeed at fault. Whether she is knowingly lying or unaware of what exactly happened, let's find out in the continuation. Okay. So what happened over there then? Well, I was in the lane going straight toward US-1. Okay. She was in the lane beside me over here, and it's a straight lane, and she turned, hit the front end of my truck, and she wouldn't stop. She kept trying to get away. So I got in front of her, and she tried to run me over, so I got it. When she took off, I got on the hood of the car. And she wouldn't stop, and then this guy, he pulled up, he seen her, uh -huh. and he was chasing us down the road, and finally got her to pull over. She was, and she was speeding down this road. How, how fast 50. do you think she was going down here? Excuse me? How fast do you think she was going with you on the hood? I'd say at least 50 mile an hour, 60 mile an hour. You could ask him. He, he, was, he was in the truck right beside us. And you definitely saw her see you on the hood? Oh yeah, I came up and docked her in the window. I know, but like before... Oh yeah, she, she go, I said, stop, I'm going to fall off. And she said, that's okay. your problem. Come on. Oh, oh sh I'll come off. Take your shoes off. Oh, God. Take them off, don't put them back on. Oh, I got ants all over all right, me. Knock, come here, knock your, knock your PJs off there. Knock your shirt. Oh, I can't Let's believe Let's worry about the answer. I just got out of the hospital, and now right. i got to go through this. Okay. All right. He said I tried to make a left turn. So where was his left turn at? On the Bel Beltair uh, Cypress. Let me show you something. I was going to the gas station. Oh, if you got water or something I could throw on my legs? Yeah, hang tight. Just don't make contact with him, okay? I'll give you some water. Just don't make contact with her. I'm getting her some water for right, I'm just going to step up here. Yeah. Just, uh, I'll, I'll just wait right here. Yeah, right, right here for me. I'm okay. going to get her... She's starting a car back She's up. Got, she's got, she's got, she's got. She said I got ants on. I put her in the car, she stepped in the ants. Here, give me the keys. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Oh. Stay right, just stay right there, don't restart it. I got ants. I'm getting you a bottle of water, relax. Okay. I see the ants, you're getting eaten alive. Oh, oh please. Knock your feet. Look, knock your feet off. I'm not going anywhere. He got out of his car and he jumped in my hood and he said, I'm telling him that you, that, that you try to cut me off by making a turn. I got zero miles to make. I was going into the gas station. All right, so after the accident, what did he do after that? I'm sorry? After the accident, what did he do after that? What accident? I took the left turn and he jumped in my hood of my car. But his, his car hit your car? His car hit my car. Yeah, so there was an accident, no matter who was at fault, there was an accident. Well, I wanted to get out of the traffic. And he jumped on the hood of my Why car. Why did you drive from there over to hear them on the hood of the car? Why I was going? going into the gas station on, on uh, right. what, what street is that? He says, well, now you're going to get sued because you're going you're gonna to hurt me. I'm going to hurt him. So how much further were you going to go with him on the hood to of the car? To that gas station. Do you have yeah. your license, registration, and proof uh, insurance? Yes, I have it. I'm going to put your keys on top of your car. Just don't stay where you Here, are with the ants. Take, take that for me. Oh, my God. Just keep beating your feet. This is bullshit. Let's pause for a moment to consider the potential charges Cheryl could face in this situation. Hit and run, since she initially hit another vehicle and left the scene without stopping to provide information or assistance. Driving with someone on the hood of her car for two miles at a speed of 60 miles per hour is extremely dangerous, so she could be charged with reckless driving. If it's determined that Cheryl intentionally used her vehicle to harm or threaten the other driver, she could be charged with assault. In many jurisdictions, a vehicle can be considered a deadly weapon, endangerment. Because logically speaking, driving with someone on the hood of her car also endangers that person's life. Now back to the case. Oh my, have it. you got something I can I am. Just give look, me some water? I'm gonna get you a bottle of water. Oh God bless you, thank you. I had my blinker on, I was getting off, there was the gas station. Yes sir. Yeah, but as soon as you see somebody standing in front of your car, you don't want to... He got out of my, out of his car and jumped on the hood. And he says, now, what are you going to do? What kind of who does that? What kind of a person... Exactly, so that's why you call us and we'll we'll come over here and I didn't figure have, it I out. I didn't okay? have my phone with me. I went to... Okay. Well, I'm sure there was other people in traffic that you I could have I didn't talk to anybody. 
mean, he was busy telling everybody that, that I'm on the corner. Uh, this is my 76th birthday. Happy birthday to me. I was 10 feet from the sidewalk to get off. I understand that, but if somebody's standing in front of your car, you don't want to... I don't want to? You don't want to run them over, or... Well, what would you do? Just face the car for me. I'm sorry? Just face the car for me. So right now you're being placed under arrest for leaving the scene of an accident I didn't and an aggravated that. battery. Aggravated battery on For the driving with that man on the hood of your car. He jumped on the hood of the car. Face the car. With all the witnesses and evidence, Cheryl's story was not accepted, so she was ultimately charged with leaving the scene of a crash and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. After being released on bail, she was soon arrested again for another battery charge. I have her here. How's it going, Tanya? I don't even know why she did this. How deep is your wound? Can you have a seat right here? This one's dry. It's not deep, deep, but the screwdriver's on my dresser. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're saying she threw that and it stuck in your leg? Yeah, she threw it from the ground. And it actually like, stuck, like, hanging in your leg? No, okay. it fell on the ground. It just stabbed me and fell on the ground. Why did she have the screwdriver? She came in here with it. I'll show you pictures. Let me see it. Okay. I was trying to record what she was saying, but I couldn't. So well, you, I, you check on your photos. I, We're going to go talk to her. I took the battery out and put it back in. So did I lose them? I don't know. Are you outside of my window? No, the sheriff's department is. Open up the door. The who is? The sheriff's department. The sheriff's department. Yep, open up the door. She's coming. Should be coming. There. Hey, Christine. Oh, my neighbor. Well? I just got a call from the guy from West Virginia. Okay. Let me step in here and talk to you for a second. Okay. So, what happened tonight? Can we turn on a light I somewhere? never even got my house. She's in here uh, threatening me. Oh, I've been having all kinds of problems with her. Okay. And plus, she's got, going down to the neighbors, causing problems with, between us and them. Did you, throw a fly, did you throw a screwdriver at her tonight? Yes, I did. It seems like Christine isn't hiding anything from the police. That evening, she attacked another older woman named Tanya, who lives on her property, and they are related by blood. After a short argument, Christine hit Tanya with a screwdriver, which caused a minor injury. Christine claims that she has been having problems with the victim for a long time and that she is constantly harassing her. However, that's not a reason to attack someone with a sharp object, so let's see what exactly happened. Because okay. she, she's... Uh, doing all kinds of stuff to me. Uh-huh. And I had her in a headlock. She won't leave me alone. She takes my golf cart. She went down the hickory grave last night. Come up through my yard, neighbor's yards. Went down there. Causing all kinds of pro. I can't get her out of here. Why I'm 80 saying? years old. And I'm having all kinds of health problems. Calm down a minute, Christy. I so, just can't contend with her. Well, so what started the fight tonight? Well, I just came in. I knew she was going to start some more. So, so you I went at her? No. She took my pressure washer, uh, uh, said my neighbors wanted to borrow it, and I know it was a lie. I, I, you know, you've met her. I understand, but you also understand that you can't throw a screwdriver at somebody. Nor play my headlock. She's always after me. Okay, what is she, how is she after you tonight, Christine? <sighs> I don't know. It's just an everyday thing. <laughs> okay. What am I supposed to do? I'm 80 well, years old. I understand, but you can't throw a screwdriver at her. She wouldn't leave me alone. My son has that thing out there to trim my trees. Yeah. Four brand new batteries in it. They all disappeared. I had wrote her letters. Ask her what the hell was her, wrong with her. Did she have, um, what do you call it? Um, I'm so upset I can't even think. I said, do you have, um, what do you call it? Anyway. I said, I think there's something mentally wrong with you because mm. you're a grown up now and you've had these tantrums since you were a baby. I have tried several times to help her because she had nowhere to go. Even when her dad was alive, we had to throw her out and then she would sneak in there tonight and just try to just take all kinds of 
out the house and everything. That's just the kind of person she is. She actually come in the house and stole the eviction papers. That's how vindictive yeah, she is. Yeah. Christine, you threw a screwdriver at her. And you put it in her headlock. You can't, you can't do that just because you're It's not. my house. Why can't I? Uh, because, well, because everybody it's has rights, Christine. I've always shot straight with you. I have a right, too. It's my house. I understand. I am not going to jail if you shoot. Just shoot me right now. No. I don't really don't Christine. care. No. Christine. I am not going to jail. Christine is definitely going to jail, primarily because she attacked Tanya, and now, during her arrest, she will also attack a police officer. More specifically, while resisting arrest, she will pinch a female police officer and cause her a bruise, which is more than enough reason to add another charge of battery on a law enforcement officer to the current charges. Alright, come on. Don't. 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 Christine. I am oh, not stop. going to jail. You Christine. don't want another charge, so don't hit me Christine. again. Christine. Knock it Please, off. Please, for me. Let go of her. Let go of her. You're about to go down to the ground. No, she's... Christine, relax. I've got you. Relax. You know what? You are a mother... Christine, that's enough. Come on. Christine, come on. Relax. I've always helped you and Larry out. What have you done for me? What have I done for you? Yeah. I recovered a lot of the stuff that was stolen that Shannon was stealing. I got it back for you. I, I didn't you know out. that. Yeah, I helped you out a lot. How many times did I help you out with Shannon? I don't know. I've helped you out more than once. I helped, I helped Larry out a lot. You did? Yes, I did. Let go of me. No. Yes, let go of my arm. Okay. Absolutely not. Not until you calm down. Shoot me. We're not going to shoot you. Yeah, I want shot right now. No. I want shot. No. Stop. I want shot right now. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me! I want Don't shot! Don't it! I want shot! I don't want to die! I don't want to live! Christine, I don't want you to die! I want to die! I don't care! There we go. Alright, ready? One, two... No, I'm not ready. Okay. I'm really not. Look at, look at me right here for a minute. You gonna be good for me? Please? It depends on how you treat me. I always treat... I've always treated you good. I haven't done nothing. Okay. Well, let's go in here and sit down. I'm just trying to live in my own house. Well, we've had talks, and we're going to talk a little bit more. How long has she been staying here? Calm down for me. I need you to relax for me. Probably about seven months or more. She keeps saying she's getting her Social Security. She's going to be here a few weeks. I've wrote notes to her. She goes in my house. I ask her. I said, are you bipolar? I put, changed the deadlocks because she stole my key and wouldn't give me my key back. And then she took all the bottom door knobs, knobs off and there was holes all over my doors. I couldn't even... There you go. Oh, God. Let's go get your pills. <sighs> You're not going to be in jail all day tomorrow. i got to go to the dentist. Okay. You'll be out in the morning. He's going to pick me up. I don't want none of my sons here. The only one, my brother's sick. I don't even know who could pick me up. Can you just bring me back? <laughs> I won't be working in the morning, Christine. Oh, you don't care. She was trying to find her medication. She's already taken it. I was in bed. Huh? You pinched her. Pinched who? Yep, we got a big old bruise on my arm now. Why would you have a bruise from a pinch? Can you turn out the light? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure will. <laughs> oh, that was some water. We're going to let you take a sip of water. we got to get, okay? No, Just no. take a little drink out of it. You can't take it with you, so take a well, drink out of it. could you open up for me? <clears throat> All right. <gasps> my glasses. Christine got charged with domestic violence knowingly causing harm and battery on a law enforcement officer. And now we will introduce an entitled grandmother who did the unthinkable. She was shopping in a store when she noticed a disabled man with his service dog. The dog greatly annoyed her, leading her to assaulting its owner by kicking him in the butt. You know, Bye -bye, baby. <laughs> I'm walking through the store and a lady 
You know, I could tell there was something off, right? Yeah. I don't normally let anybody touch my dog. He goes, my ass is a service dog. What else did she I don't know what else she said. I said, look, Karen. Oh, no, I said, she goes, prove it. Where is the stuff? And I said, I don't have to have any stuff. This dog has seen me coming in there for, for 20 years. You know? It's, yep. it's not like it's a newbie, okay? Yep. And, and then she comes up to me. And, and I go, kicks me in the ass. Literally, just comes right out, kicks me in the ass. Just let me do my business. Okay. So she, kicked, so you, she, she kicked, kicked you in the ass? Yeah. Kicked me in the ass. And I just said, what the f is wrong with you? Okay. I go, that's assault. She goes, call a cop. Hi. Hello. How you doing? So the asshole really did call you, huh? Yes. Good. What's going on? Well, I stopped jumped on me. Afterwards, I kicked him in the ass. You kicked who? Okay. Two. You kicked So two? what, uh, what would you like to discuss? What's the story? What's the story? I asked the man why he had the dog in here. It's a service dog. Where's his jockey? Where's his proof? I don't have to show you. The law says I don't have to. I said, well, we'll go up to the desk. Then. I don't have to show them either. I said, because he's not a f***ing service dog. And then the dog jumped on me. So I turned around and I kicked him in the ass. You have your ID on you? He then presented this thing. I don't do this. I don't sell this to people. But here's this thing. I said, shove it up your rear. Okay. Well, he doesn't have to. Number one, you don't work here. Uh, it's not I your right to be asking around. Uh, it's not my right? No, it's not. Oh, well, here. Same I, don't need, thing. I don't need your debit card. I need oh. your ID. Why not? You're going to give me a ticket. As a matter of fact, you are going to jail. Oh, that's even better. Yep. So, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Give me a Turn around, put your hands what? behind your back. Oh, wait, wait. Can I put my wallet away? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Yeah, How old are you? I'm 80. You're 80. Acting yeah. like a 14 year old. Under the Americans with Disabilities Act, individuals with disabilities are entitled to be accompanied by their service animals in all areas of a public facility where the general public is allowed. So this also includes stores like Walmart. The ADA does not require individuals with service animals to carry or show documentation for their service animal in public places. The woman could face criminal charges for the assault but also the man may have grounds for a civil lawsuit against the woman for any physical or emotional damages resulting from the assault because you all witnessed how distressed he was because of that bizarre encounter. Any weapons on you? Yeah, my mouth. I can Are see you, that. You're just leaving that in the middle of the street? joke I've ever seen. What? If you want me to put this in your car, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> if I tell you, you'll give me another second. No, I want to take it with me. Why would I not want my license, my credit cards, and all my money put back in my pocketbook and take it with me? Okay, well, I gotta search it before I take it, okay? I'll go right ahead. Look yeah. over to my car. Oh, wow. No, it's not your car. It's my car. I pay taxes. I pay taxes as well. Probably okay. pay more taxes than you. I doubt it. Why do I not have a right to question a person when the law says you can't have animals in supermarkets and stores? Tell me. Service animals are exempt, and you're not allowed. I asked him if there was you're a not service allowed to that. Ask. Why? Because you're not allowed to. It's protected. There's people with disabilities. You didn't know that? Because it's in, in his head. That's where it's just you still don't have the right to uh, make you kick someone. So I didn't have the right to jump on me, did he? Service animals don't jump on me. You instigated the whole thing. So jump on me before I kick them in the head. Where's your dog? I expected you to show up with the dog. What? I'm disappointed. This hurts. It's not supposed to be comfortable. Well, it's not supposed to hurt either that I got marks. 
The woman will now be taken to the police station, but before that, the police officers question witnesses who confirm the victim's account that the woman started yelling for no reason and then hit the man. He confirms his original statement and shows how much this situation has upset him. People can't treat other people like that. It's not right. So he turned around to try to ignore her. She kicked him in the ass. I didn't say that they never... jump on her. Let's say he did jump on it still doesn't give her the right. Well, let me tell you where, something else. Kick you? Right on the right butt. Right there. Literally, right yeah, there on the tailbone. Seven years old. She's so she's 80. got two felonies. I don't care if she's 80. Yeah. I didn't touch her. Both the man comes around and both him and his dog are going to suffer rotten lives. And you do the crime, you do the time. You, you can't be going around kicking people, number one. You have no this right. Oh, it's not supposed to be jumping up on top of me either. What's happening about that? You confront him about the dog. He was minding his business. You have, you, you're nobody to I be confronting people. You, you confront him. him yeah. If I didn't confront the dog. You confront him, and the dog was attached to him. Did that means you violated his space. If you get, cl if you get that close to him, where the dog, dog jumped on you, that means you were on his space. Well, that means the dog came around the shopping cart and jumped on me. Due to her behavior, this 80-year-old lady was charged with battery on a person over 65 and disorderly conduct. Hello. What? What's wrong? Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What is going on? Okay. I can't see. Uh, like, all these people were, like, driving all over the lines or whatever. Okay, I, I stopped you for a few things. When I was, I was coming the other way, you had your high beams on oh. at me. Well, I and then I do not get my job. I'm sorry. It, it's okay. I try to signal you by flashing mine. Um, but you were, looks be, like, you were behind me. Yeah, I turned like... around. Oh. I turned around. Uh, you have to signal. You didn't signal till till you after you stopped, and then you passed passed the line there. Are you? And then and then you hit this curve over here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm like all these people are like flashing the lights all over the place. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, do you have your driver's license and insurance? Yeah, of course I do. She had her high beams on coming at me. I tried to flash her to turn them off, so looks like she turned them off, but then she starts swerving and then didn't signal past the line. And she pops this curb and then pops this curb over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's she saying? Uh, she's kind of all over the place right now. She doesn't remember, like, what I'm asking for and stuff, so we'll see. I smell a little bit of booze. Hello, oh, were you able to find your insurance? Yeah, well, I don't know. This is what I have, okay? okay. I, I have insurance, okay? Okay. I, I have insurance. Yes, I do. Okay, you don't have to get upset. Yeah, I, I am upset because okay. why are you stopping me? I told you multiple times why I stopped you. How much have you had to drink today? I Not much. Okay. I can smell, I can smell the odor of uh, alcohol beverage coming from you. Well, How like a long to... time ago, I had like one drink. Did I have one drink? One drink like three hours ago. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have you come out of the vehicle. Okay. <sighs> do me a favor, just come out of the vehicle. I'm just going to do a couple tests for you, okay? Well, okay, because you know what? I'm 80 years old. Okay. I, so I understand have, that. You have to take that into I, I, I do take okay. that into consideration. So what do you want to know? Careful. <laughs> I'm right here. Face me. Are you able to stand by yourself? Yes, I am. Because okay. you're having some trouble standing, so I'm a little concerned. You know what? Because I'm like, I have like the worst day you could ever imagine, okay? Whatever. I had one drink. Okay. One drink. And you know what? If those people serve one drink that's so strong, that's not my problem, okay? okay. Are you saying that one drink possibly caused you one, to be impaired? One drink. No, one drink. From like, I went there like three o'clock okay that one drink you think possibly caused you to be impaired or uh yeah okay well um, no no not really can you see the tip of my finger yes i can okay. so what i want you to do is with your eyes and your eyes only follow the tip of my finger without moving your head do you understand yes okay i'm gonna have you walk nine heel to toe steps down a line in front of you i can't i'm 80 years old okay. i can't do that okay would you like to try 
How about I demonstrate? Hang on one second, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma 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 Hang on. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fuck. I just, here. I just did I'm it. I'm trying to explain the test. Please walk back over here. Good decision. So what, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to make sure that you're not <laughs> impaired and then I let you drive off, okay? I can't I'm do not. that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Here. Okay. okay. Hold up. Stop. 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 All right. Run your car, okay? Here, here, here. Ma'am, ma'am. All here. right, stop. Stop. What? Stop. What do you want? I'm trying to explain it, and if you can be patient, I no. can explain it, and then you no. can decide if you no. want to do it. No, what are you trying to do to me? This is what I want you to do. I want you to stand oh, just like I this. I can't. I cannot do that. Okay, then I don't want to have you do something that you say you can't I do. I can't do that because I cannot do that. Okay. I'm 80 okay. years old. All right. I'm not impaired. Okay. I am not impaired. It's true that the lady is of an older age, but that's not a reason to disobey the police officer and behave in this manner. Such an entitled attitude can only worsen even this innocuous situation. The lady showed signs of dissatisfaction and minor aggression right from the start of the stop, but what follows will leave you speechless. You won't believe how combative and resistant someone of her age can be, even to the point of hitting a police officer. Would you like to provide a breast sample? No. For what? For what? To help us understand whether or not no, we can... No, you know, that would be just like the the worst thing I could do. That's, it's basically, it's your call. I'm letting you know flat out. And, I'm not and trying to Sam, do... what else are you going to do? Based on what he said with your driving, the order of I am alcohol. an excellent Damn. driver. Damn. Do you also... want to provide a breast sample or not? No. Otherwise, we're going to have to go based off of everything of else. Of what? Ma what? I'll tell you what. You parked up on the curb. He said there well, was because you you pulled me, ma you I want pulled you to me understand. over. You I pulled you me over. I can smell the order of alcohol with beverage. Oh, it, you I'm not, I'm not admitting that I you did You were having yet. difficulty walking from your car I'm to 80 here. years old, and all okay? Of these, what I'm going off of is the totality of circumstances here, okay? I'm 80 years old, you idiots. Okay. Do you the want to provide a breast sample or not? No. Okay, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Nope, nope, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Don't kick me! Don't kick me! Man, you are being placed <laughs> under arrest if you left. If wait, you wait, 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 This will not... You will have additional charges. Get your hands off me. Ma'am. Oh my god. Don't! Get stop resisting! Police! Stop! Hey! Don't stop, kick stop, me! Stop, stop, stop. Push up against the car. Come on. Stop! Stop kicking me! Stop. <laughs> Do you think you can sit up? <laughs> And do you think you can sit up? Yes, I can sit up. Hang on. Stop it. Don't call an ambulance. Stop. Stop. Oh, my God. Don't. You are under arrest, okay? For what? For DUI. For DUI. Oh. Please put uh, your hands uh, behind your back. Please put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. <laughs> yeah, come over here. <laughs> hey, I'm 80. How old are you? Do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back because we're going to manually do it for you and you it's not going to be good. If you have to do this, you're going to fucking fight me every okay. Hey, hey! Stop it! Where Stop are you it. going? Stop! What are you doing? Stop! Stop it! Okay, if you kick me, you're going to get a charge. You need to stop! You need to stop, okay? Stop! What's wrong with you? Come on. You need to calm down, okay? Look at you. Look at you. I mean, look, 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 look what you're doing. Yeah. You, you need to stop. Excuse me. You need to stop. You need to stop, okay? You need to stop. Calm down, okay? Okay? You need to calm down, please. For what? For DUI. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yes, that's you are. Like, that's not going to happen because it's not. Well, that's, it's already happened. Under... No, because I'm not. You are. I'm not. No, you are I'm not. Under arrest. No, right? I'm not you DUI. You just need what? to calm down what? so we can do what this. What are you doing? What the f are you doing? What the f are you doing? Oh my god. Police brutality. I used to feel sorry for you people, and now. No. Okay. What the f are you doing? We're going to go in the back of the car. Over here. Come on. Watch her. Stop. 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 Just grab her feet. Stop. Okay, you can walk this way too.
Don't hit that. Larry, stop kicking the car! Put your foot down. Put your foot down, okay? Put your foot down, ma'am. Are we gonna put? put your it's gonna break down. the plastic. Stop. Look at how you're at. Alcohol. Sounds good. All right. Okay. This grandma simply knows no bounds. At one point she even fainted, only to get up again and resume attacking the police. Now that she's been arrested, they are taking her to the station. And if you thought her rampage was over, you're mistaken. Honestly, I can hardly believe what I've just witnessed from one grandmother. After the police finally subdued her rampage, she was charged with DUI, reckless driving, battery resisting, and finally, aggravated battery to police officer. In this next case, the police received a call from a landlord in Norwood, but they were not told why they were actually needed for. When the officers arrived at the address, this is what they found. What's going on today? I'm really sick. Oh, I'm actually going to need nobody to that. Yeah? Yeah. And you, you need to get away from the house. And you, and you. Yeah, I don't like you either, so as long as we're clear. I am a, a nurse. Yeah. And you need to get off. And I told you this is a lot building. And I told you not to come inside my building. What if when I walked up here, the doors were wide open? Get out of my building and get outside of my building now. No. Well, you're going to do it with two right now. No. Yes, sir? No. What's going on, Jeff? Yes, sir? No. I said yes, sir? No. It's not going to work that way. What's going on today, man? Tell him. Get him down. Get him down. What's this is? I said get him down. Okay. I said get down uh, and get out of my building now. Me. I dare you to touch me. That would be great. Oh, well, that would never happen. This, this already moved out. This doesn't work. They probably moved out because of you. What, why is this happening? Why, 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 we're not even speaking anything. Why? You're talking to me. What's going on? No, I'm not. Until this. I'm not going anywhere, so. Go talk or not. Yeah, tell him to get out. Bye. 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 Get in. You never. Forget me. Can you shut up so I can call the squad? Squad for what? You said you were sick. You need to go to the hospital. No. Okay. No. You don't ever come around my door. How about this? Here. Don't call us and I won't come back here. I was a nurse for over many years. I don't care. Exactly. I think it solved itself. And you don't ever walk up oh my my God, stairs. No, don't. No, do not walk up my stairs again. Get inside. Do not walk up my stairs again. I'm gonna 
going to treat you like a four-year-old and start counting if you don't go in there. Do not walk up my stairs Because if I arrest you now, I don't have to do that. I building. You! Raphael! You! Lock building. You are not supposed to even be able to come in here. It's cold now. Ah, you. you. Let's go inside. Let's just go inside. I'm telling you. Right, just go inside. Don't ever. You. Just go inside. You. Do not ever come in my building. Shut again. up. Ah, shut up. Although it seemed like the situation had calmed down, the suspect Anne started following the police down the stairs and then attacked a tenant who was watching her rampage. After that, the police had enough and handcuffed her and took her to the station for further processing. After calling the police on herself and causing chaos in her own home, Anne was charged with disorderly conduct. The police received a report that a woman was riding a bicycle on the road and almost crashed into several cars from the opposite direction. The officer quickly found her, but she immediately tried to escape. When he caught up with her, a real drama began. Come here, now. I'm not playing with you, come here. Come here, right. Come here, now. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Listen, you're gonna let me go. Lay on the ground. You're gonna let me go. I got all your footage on the TV. Lay on your stomach. Lay on your stomach. No, you're gonna bring out all your producers right now. You're gonna bring them out now. Nope. All your producers, you gotta bring them out now. Megan, I'm trying to get her secured. She's resisting. Yep, you gotta bring them out. Bring them out. What What are you doing this for? Because y'all are videoing me. You know you are. I told you to stop for okay. years. You don't stop it. Put your hands behind You're your back. 
stop. I, I'm gonna. You're I'm, gonna come through. With it. Right, you're playing with you. Now I'm not playing with you. Put your hands on your back. Go now. Put your hands on your back now. You're gonna get tased if you don't put your hands by your back. You know it, right? More for your TV? Yeah, you think so? More for TV? More for TV, right? Yep. More for TV. Losers. You fucking losers, oh, man. I'll be a TV show. I'll be a TV show, huh? You red. I'm not the one. Done. Battery on Leo, too. Yeah. Now you just got two charges. Oh, woohoo. Good job. Alright, we can sit here all day then. Uh, I, I ain't got nowhere to go. Me neither. Lay there. Me neither, you Yeah, you shaking now, ain't you? You're crazy, you think I'm scared? Yeah. Relax. Little. Didn't work out well for you, though, did it? Yeah, didn't work out well for you. She's kicking and stuff, so right. watch out. Hey, check this out. We're going to stand you up, put you in the car. You start kicking, hey, you're going right back out. down on the ground. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. Yes, that's where I'd like to be. So far, the suspect has racked up three charges, which are fleeing and eluding, battery on a law enforcement officer, and likely resisting. But before more cops arrive to restrain her and put her in the vehicle, one officer will find the tool that the suspect was waving around, which might further complicate her charges. All right, come on, just leave her on the side until we get somebody else here. Uh, that's what you tried to hit me with, huh? Oh, oh shit. that's not what I tried to hit you with. I watched you swing it at me. What are you talking about? Are you about? kidding me? I wouldn't kill you if I could, though. We got someone to 15. We're going to hit them with the vehicle right hey. now. Hey, you're done. You understand. So are you. Do you understand? You're going to go in this you're car. You're done. Do you understand? Yeah, that's exactly what Jack You got a hobble? Or do you, do you have to hobble? I have a hobble. We need it. <laughs> yeah. Don't you kick me. <laughs> do what I want. No, you won't. Because your ass is going to get tased. Yeah. Do me. Come on, don't don't start. Me, man. Don't even start. Start with your. Yeah. Go. Holy. I'm gonna tase you if you do not put your hands behind your back. One, two, Ma'am? three. Taser, taser, taser. Ow! Put your hands Ow! behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Do it right now. Put that other hand. Your. We got her good? They're not real officers. Listen, when this is done, you're all You hear me? Let's turn this way. No. no. We're trying to help you. Turn this way. Yeah, no. You're trying to help yourself. Okay. No, we're trying to help you, man. No, you're trying to help yourself because you're not allowed to leave me on my stomach, you dumb I'm not stupid. Yeah, exactly. So go f*** yourself. Exactly. You're going to go tase me again so I can f*** you. Yeah, you're going to go tase me again? Yeah, no. Dude, you. No, it is okay. stopping. No, there's a no. Where's all the cameras? Bring them out. They're all, all over the place. Everyone Listen. I know exactly what you're doing. You're sitting there being duck dick. I know you're in on it. You're stupid. And I'm done with you. You hear me? I'm done. You either let me out of this shit hole, this shit hole, or you're done. Let me out of this shit. You better. Bring me somewhere to negotiate, or I'm done. You, I swear to God, none of y'all will ever live this shit down if you do not let me out this shit right now. It's gonna stop right here and now. It's stopping. Ten more minutes of this and you're done. I'm not doing a goddamn thing. Not ten minutes, two minutes. How about that? Two more minutes of this and I ain't doing shit. So you better hurry up and decide. You guys better start negotiating now. I already know. I've known for years. I've asked you to stop for years. You can't. Stop. Why? You having too much fun? I'm not. So guess what? You're gonna bring it right now to the head and we're gonna pop it or, or you well you're just gonna see what's gonna happen. Ma'am, are you gonna and be his associates. compliant? Are you gonna be compliant? F*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. I don't know you. Get the f*** out my face. You laughing? You laughing? I swear to God I'm burn this f*** down. Burn it down. Ma'am, what's your name really quick? Because we have to tell the hospital. Oh, okay. What is your name? What is your name? I'm Deputy Zayla. What is your name? Deputy Zayla. What is your name? Deputy Zayla. What is your name? Okay, I'm not doing this. Are you going to come out? Sure. I'm going to just pull your feet to make it easy. Oh, okay? yeah. Make it easy. Make it easy. That would be wonderful. Make it easy? Yeah.
In the end, it was clarified that the suspect didn't hit the officer but only damaged his gear. Because of this, she was charged with criminal mischief, resisting with violence, and eluding.